welcome back to Walk Wars. Today I will be competing against Cher, one of our newest chefs. The rules of the game are we have a mystery bag of ingredients. We also have full access to the School of Walk pantry for different sauces and dried goods. We have 25 minutes to come up with a dish. So let's go through all of our ingredients. Okay, so I see some Chinese cabbage. I see spring onions. What else do I see? Some ooh, whole dried chilies. I see some large fresh chilies. I see some carrots. This is interesting. I don't actually cook carrots that often. Do you eat carrots very often? I absolutely love carrots. Do you? Amazing. Okay. Mango chutney. This will be fun. This is like a this is a curveball. I mean. I know. Some fresh shiitake mushrooms. Okay. Yep. I see some sugar snap peas. Yep. And then we've also got some limes. Ooh, okay. okay, this is fun. This will be interesting. Okay, so I think let's take a few minutes to think about what we're going to cook. Absolutely. We'll go get what we need and then we will head back into the kitchen. See you in a bit. So we've just come back from the pantry and we've picked up all the things that we think we're going to need. What are you making, Cher? I really don't have any idea. I mean, I think there are kind of two ways I could kind of do this. Um, I'm kind of thinking of using the chutney in possibly two different ways, possibly a stir fry and a deep fry. I'm still kind of processing, processing it. it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. What about you? I am going to make a kimchi pancake with a mango chutney and gochujang dipping sauce. So. 25 minutes, we've got someone on the timer. What are you doing first, Cher? I am probably just gonna heat up some oil in a wok, oil for deep frying, and then we'll just see where we go. So what I'm going to do first is of course get that kimchi started. I'm gonna chop it up quite small so that it kimchi's quickly, and then I'm going to generously salt it and add gochugaru or Korean um, red pepper powder. I'm just simply quartering some of my shiitake mushrooms. Um, they're really lovely and meaty, so I'm kind of thinking I could possibly kind of make a little batter for them and then get them into the wok for some deep frying and then possibly finish off with some lovely zesty le lime um, and maybe like a little dip with the um, chutney. So into my kimchi mix, I'm going to add some chopped up ginger and spring onions, very classic ingredients in a Korean kimchi. So I'm just making a little batter here, um, just with a little bit of corn flour and an egg that I just beat up. And then just adding a little bit of water just to kind of loosen it slightly so it becomes a kind of a batter that I can sort of work with uh, for my shiitake mushrooms. So I added a little bit of lime into the kimchi, which is not very traditional, but I think for this application, since I'm trying to make kimchi so quickly, it will add a lot of acidity, which the kimchi needs. Time for those gloves, Emma. Time for the gloves. So now with my gloves on, I'm really breaking up the kimchi with my hands. I want to break apart all of that cabbage. And I'm not making too much because I'm just making a small um, pancake, but I could add a bit more if I wanted to. So now it's this bright, vibrant color. Time for a taste test. Just to see if the balance of flavors is okay. Yum. Could do a bit more lime, a bit more sugar, and I think that's ready to go. What I'm going to do to the mushrooms is I'm going to actually fry them off separately first. Otherwise, mushrooms release a lot of moisture, and instead of having a crispy kimchi pancake, they'll be very soggy. So just in a frying pan with a little bit of oil, just sauteing them off. Getting my mushrooms in there just to kind of coat. Oh, deep fried mushrooms. Deep fried mushrooms. Oh, yum. This might be nice for a snack. So I'm just gonna take one and then just see where it takes us. Okay, there's sizzle, so that's a good sign. Just be really careful when you're deep frying anything, always lower the food gently into your hot oil. Do not just throw them in, the oil will splatter and spit back at you. So I'm just sauteing down my mushrooms, just to release a little bit of moisture. 
that looks good to me. Add that in with the rest of my chopped veg. Okay, so now it's time for the dipping sauce. So into my little mango chutney gochujang dipping sauce, I'm going to add a bit of garlic. I'll add the chutney. I want to taste the chutney just on its own first to see what it tastes like. Okay, lovely. So it's quite sweet, so I'm gonna use it like a honey like I would normally to balance out gochujang, which is very salty. So I'll add a teaspoon of that to start with, and then I'll add some gochujang as well. Gochujang is a Korean red pepper paste. Quite spicy, you don't need to use too much of it. So my mushrooms have really kind of gone very quiet, which means that most of that water has evaporated and cooked out, so that means they're ready. You can also feel they're nice and crispy. You don't want them to be too colored, so nice kind of sort of beige, golden color is what we want because the mushrooms themselves are quite dark anyway, so it's a nice contrast between the white or the yellow on the outside and the brown on the inside of the mushrooms, and I'm just going to drain them on some paper, and that's it, that's all done. I'm adding a little bit of sesame oil to the dipping sauce, and I might water it down just so it's a really nice dipping consistency. So I was thinking with the dry, uh, fried shiitake mushrooms, I could make a, like a little kind of seasoning salt to go um, with them at the end. So just kind of chopping up finally a dried chili. Um, you could obviously use some citron peppercorns, crushed up citron peppercorns work really well in this as well. Some flavoured salt, basically. Also, to the flavoured salt, I'm going to be adding the zest of a lime before it runs away from me, just to kind of lift up the flavours of the mushrooms. My dipping sauce is done. It's got some honey, soya sauce, lime juice, gochujang, mango chutney and I'm going to add some thinly sliced spring onions as well. With my chutney, I'm going to make a little sauce for the stir fry that I'm doing, so literally just a really good amount, sort of two tablespoons of the mango chutney. It is quite thick, quite a bit of sugar, so I am going to just let it down slightly, so just going to uh, get the juice of a lime. Squeeze all of that lime juice in there, just to thin it out slightly. Also gives a really nice bit of acidity to the dish, and hopefully it'll be a Indian and Chinese Ooh, um, mix. Ooh, that sounds yes. nice. A marriage of delights. Oh, you haven't even like done your batter yet. No, I haven't. Oh my gosh, how is this pancake gonna manifest itself, <laughs> Emma? A bit of plain flour, a little bit of water to thin it out till I get the right consistency and also an egg, just to bind it. So for my stir fry, I've got some uh, dried chilies. I think just needs a little bit of aromats in there. We don't have garlic or ginger today, um, just green onions, so I'll just use some dried chili for a little bit of heat. I hope you guys love a little bit of heat in your stir fry, so off we go. Just gonna add some sugar snap peas into my stir fry as well for a bit of color. So you have a little bit of that orange uh, from the carrots and some greens from your sugar snap peas. While that is going off, I'm gonna cook my pancake. I've said this before and I've said it again, the first pancake is always a little bit wonky. So I'll make my first one, see how it goes and make another. So my sugar snap peas and everything, I've just tasted one um, sugar snap pea tastes great, really crunchy, cooked through completely. So now I'm just gonna let this wok build up a little bit of heat. So all my ingredients right in the center. I've got my mango chutney and lime juice sauce to go in. And then I'm just going to drizzle that. Oh, that looks like a really nice sauce. Like nice, sticky and sweet. Yeah, I hope it looks good, I hope it tastes good. And then just folding that sauce through. And then off of the heat, and that's ready to go. So I'm checking my kimchi pancake just until to check if it's golden brown on the bottom, and then I'll flip. Okay, moment of truth. Hey, hey not bad. Not hey, bad. Hey. It's got a lovely color on the outside. And then now we wait, crispy golden brown.
go. Excellent. Done. On time okay. too. Bang on time. Bang on time. Okay, well, now let's exit the kitchen, get some fresh air, and then let the judges decide. Well, they have cast their votes. A very, very long deliberation, very if long. I might add. Indeed. Okay, so under each of these lids is their votes. We're gonna open them up one by one. You go first. All right. Ah! Nothing. Sure. Those deep fried mushrooms. I think that's what I did. Hey! Oh! Oh, well done. Gosh, now there's the last one. Oh, they always do this too. Okay, you do it. You do the last one, okay? Three, two, one. Oh, Emma! Yay! Well done. That well was done. a very, very good walk war. Mm. All right. Well, thank you all very, very much for joining us on this week's Walk Wars. If you like this video, uh, leave a comment. Give us some suggestions for mystery ingredients that you would like to see in future Walk Wars. Um, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Walk Wars.